Hey guys, Francis here with The Brim Factor and in today's video we're going to talk about top 6 freelancing skills and ideas that you can use to start your freelancing journey today. I did a, a very similar video recently where I talked about 10 or 11 um, simple freelancing ideas that you can use to start your freelancing journey. But the reason for that particular video was actually to get you started really quickly. But this time we're going to talk about skills and ideas that actually are a bit more difficult. And the reason for this is the more difficult it is, the more you have a chance to get more jobs and potentially make more money. But if it's simple, it would mean that the market is saturated and there might not be a lot of job to go around for everybody. So so that's the reason why I wanted to bring this one to you guys. But before we get into it, if you're just stumbling on the channel for the first time, please consider liking the video. I mean, everybody should like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done that. Um, we we'll post videos every Tuesdays and Saturdays around making money online, investing your money, how to get paid by international clients and all that type of stuff. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into this top six freelancing skills. And I have arranged them in an order of um, lowest to highest when it comes to the difficulty levels so let's get into it the first one is digital marketing it's it's a very professional um, skill for you to get and the entry level is it's just medium to 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 difficult because it can be very difficult to run and manage ads and manage um, clients social media learn about SEO these are very professional things and highly sorted after skills even though I think it's one of the easiest in this list of six um, skills that I have uh, put together I always recommend this for people who are not too techy or who just want to get started really quickly in a matter of weeks you can take a course um, it could be a physical course or a digital course that you can take and learn all about digital marketing this is a skill that a lot of people are looking for it's a space you can play in and actually make a lot of money now moving on into number two we have um, a voice over artist now I know that this might not be for everybody but I, I I thought to put this in here because it's of course very highly sorted after anyone who has a voice and understands and has a good command of a particular language can actually um, start to do this uh, all you need to do is learn um, a little bit of uh, the, the, the tricks of the trade you know how to use your voice how to when to the, the, the dynamics of your voice when to go high when to come low and all of that stuff or the, the, how to change your voice into different moods for maybe if you're doing voiceover for ads or for movies or for trailers or stuff like that it's relatively easy and also it's very highly sorted after it's very artistic so um, there's there's so much opportunity here for you especially if you're not a very techie person again you can take courses on this um, there are lots of great online courses that you can take to make yourself a voice over artist now moving on to number three we have video editing personally I love this one I do all of the video editing for the channel by myself because I enjoy the process I actually enjoy um, the post-production process which is video editing then I do the, the this part you know where I have to stand and talk to the camera so um, depending on what you like depending on what stands out to you this is one that you can focus on and really learn there's so much that you can do with this you can start from as simple as um, um, providing services like like um, editing your clients YouTube videos editing course videos for people who create courses on e-learning platforms like Udemy and Skillshare you know you can do lyric videos you can do TikTok videos for people who want to do um, clean cleaner and more professional TikTok videos you can offer that service uh, you could do short films I mean you can even go to um, full-length films at some point there's just so much from from beginner to pro so much um, to play with when it comes to video editing a lot of chances and you can create all of this as different gigs in a place like fiverr.com you can as, as you learn maybe you learn how to edit youtube videos first you can create a gig for that and if you start to play more into editing courses or short films or and, and all, all that type of stuff you can start to create individual gigs all in the video editing category personally i would say if you have a little bit of flair when it comes to tech this is one that you should really consider because video is everything right now people are beginning to lean more towards video for their brands for marketing for on youtube you know for running ads and just so many various platforms are beginning to incorporate video and if you can learn how to edit videos you can start to make a killing um, with video editing and freelancing so consider that number four 
audio mixing and mastering again this is a space i play in i'm a singer songwriter and a music producer i do audio mixing and mastering at a very pro level but you can start very small that's the reason why i said here you can niche down to mixing just podcasts and that's very easy that's one easy way for you to get into this really quickly because there's not so much there's not so much moving parts that you have to control there are not so much elements it's just voice and oftentimes music which might not even run throughout the whole thing sometimes it's just the vocals that your clients might want they would not want uh, music in the background but even if they do that is also very easy to do and i'm also considering um doing a full-on course on this particular subject just so that i can prepare you guys to give the best quality to your clients when you start to do this as a freelancer and please let me know in the comment section if you will like me to create this course to do a full-on tutorial on how to uh, mix and master um, maybe we'll start with a course on mixing and mastering podcast so that you guys can have that confidence to get into this this is very highly sorted after guys it's not um it's not it's not basic it's very very professional it's something that people pay a lot of money to, to have studios do this i do this for clients myself and i know i charge upwards of maybe for one section you can charge you can't charge less than fifty dollars for one section so at least that's how i price my 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 gigs so yeah sometimes you can get a batch of this and you can just straight up focus on a project and by the end of it you're making up to a thousand dollars so what considering here what considering guys so um let me know also in the comment section which of this all of these uh, um uh, ideas i'm sharing with you guys that you want me to delve deep into and create courses i could also create courses on video editing maybe we can start with something like youtube videos and stuff and then i bang that out to you guys and you can run off and start to make money with all of these skills and your freelancing journey will begin so going into number five number five we have cms web design so cms is content management system web design so that's talking about stuff like wordpress and and wix which is more um front end based so you're not writing any code you don't have to be a programmer it's more on the front end you're just dragging and dropping most of the time you work with themes and plugins so which means 90 percent of the job has already been done for you all you have to do is just position things and add text and images and you're and you're good to go so it's something you can learn in in a matter of days to be honest with you and you can just start to um, freelance with this and finally we're going to talk about programming this is one of the most sorted after skill on any freelancing platform mobile and web apps this is such a huge thing and it's not so saturated because it's very difficult to get into i actually did study computer science in school and um, played in programming for a little bit i did a lot of things i just i juggled a lot of things and it was so difficult for me to pick a space to step to settle in i did um, web design graphics design um, never really got into web app, um, mobile apps because at the time it was it, i don't think it was it wasn't very big because there were java phones and all of that stuff anyways so but right now i'm getting back into programming and i'm specifically trying to get into um, flutter development that is the um, platform i would recommend for anyone who wants to learn really fast because flutter is relatively new and it was developed by google and that means that it's not going to be it's most likely not going to be abandoned and there's so much potential with flutter and um, the, the selling point for me for flutter is when you learn how to use flutter and that that is the programming language that you use flutter is a software development kit or what they call the sdk uh, but that is actually the programming language that you use alongside flutter so the, the beautiful thing the selling point for me with flutter is that uh, flutter um, allows you to create web apps and mobile apps android apps and ios apps all using the same code base usually you'd have to create all of these things differently but with flutter you just use the same code base the same um, programming code and you can you can bang out um, web apps and mobile apps so if you're new to programming i would recommend not that it's the best these are just tools you know what might be appealing to one may not be appealing to the other so but do your research and find out which programming language that you that you feel um based on how it is designed just the basics just by learning what what they, they are best for what it can be used for you can decide okay this is what i want to do maybe you want to get into gaming you can just research what programming languages should i learn if i want to really get into gaming so you, you, there, there might be something that is specific for you it doesn't have to be flutter you know so but this is for me um the one i would recommend because it's the one i'm into the one i like 
doesn't have to be for you so there you have it guys top six freelancing skills and ideas that you can use to start your freelancing journey and this particular six will allow you to grow in the long run because they're very top shelf they're very professional thank you for watching the video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to check the channel every tuesday and saturdays for new videos i will see you guys in the next one take care